<laughs> Hello again. Welcome back to Papa's house. Remember these things? Post-it notes. <laughs> in 1968, Spencer Silver and Art Fry, two research chemists with 3M Corporation, were trying to invent a strong adhesive for the aerospace industry. Instead, their efforts produced a weak adhesive that could be removed and reattached without damaging the item to which it was attached. 3M initially considered the project a failure. <laughs> Fry had accidentally invented the post-it notes. Hundreds of millions of dollars of these guys have been sold every year since the 1970s. They're everywhere now. And my late wife, Nadine, used them everywhere. Do you use post-it notes? <laughs> Are they everywhere in your house or office too? Well, my two daughters, Allison and Christina, sure remember their mother using them. And that inspired me to write this next family story poem that I call Little Sticky Notes. My sister and I were now old enough to be left home alone. But Mama would check in constantly, calling us on the phone. We knew that Mama was never happy leaving us home alone. And her home alone plan made the two of us moan and groan. She would write us little sticky notes to guide us through our day. Mama's sticky notes told us what to do and even what to say. Real important notes were yellow and always written in red. Notes might say, clean your messy room and then make your bed. Or maybe say, lunch in the fridge, eat only one sweet treat. Some notes said, wash those dirty hands right before you eat. Mama's little sticky notes reminded us to be neat and clean. A note on the door made it very clear, wipe your filthy feet. Moral little sticky notes encouraged us to choose the right. Money notes said to feed Miss Piggy a little every night. Safety sticky notes insisted on some things we didn't like. Mama's notes wrote, helmets on if you ride your bike. Take a bath, wash your face, and brush your teeth. You have a dentist appointment on Monday the 17th. Mama's little sticky post-it notes helped to do this and that. Her notes wrote, bring in the dog and put out the cat. And Mama wrote on each note in two neat little rows about a million tiny black X's and a billion big red O's. The X's were her kisses she wanted to plant on our face. The O's were hugs we'd get at some other time and place. The X's looked like flowers that might sprout a red rose. The O's might be smiley faces with eyes but no nose. Mama somehow managed to sign each little sticky note. She might write, love Mama, but more often she wrote, love me at the end of every note. Me was Mama, and love was in each note she wrote. <laughs> I wonder if many of you still use post-it notes. But I think that even with all of our electronic devices that we carry around and use all day long, there is something magical about writing your little note and sticking it somewhere that you and your family and friends will find. Like this recently discovered treasure. My granddaughter, Cassie, was about 10 when she noticed how her Nana was in a lot of pain and was very sad. Cassie took Nana's famous post-it notes from her desk and wrote uplifting notes and stuck them all over for her Nana to find and read. My wife was so touched by little Cassie's gesture that she collected all the notes and made herself this memento. Nadine printed my poem, Little Sticky Notes, which was written about her, and arranged Cassie's notes next to it, and photocopied and framed it, then hung it on her office wall. Under the title, she typed, Cassie copied Nana, right when Nana needed some love. And on the bottom here, she typed, The Simple Love of a Child. But because it was always hanging on her wall, 
I never knew she had put Cassie's original handwritten yellow post-it note messages on the back here. When I saw these, I felt as if I was covered in post-it note love. <laughs> Hope you feel the love too. Until next time, X's and O's to all of you. Be safe.